Rob, but you forget that uh, Zamba plays Frozen on the uh -huh. weekly. Yep. And he's beaten him a fair amount, too. Uh, so, that being said, Ray is a different breed of Palu. Uh, but we're, Zamba definitely fundamentally knows the matchup, I'd say. He knows what to look out for. He knows, like, what, like, absolutely you should not be getting hit by this. Or else you're taking 50%. Right. Um, oh. Like he was at too high of a place on for that to f for the last set of it to follow up into anything. The eye uh, coming out from Zamba. And, wow, and... Ray is a wall, so it's, yeah. it's gonna be Zamba plays a bit more aggressive than most Robs I see in comparison to like a playstyle like Dill's Rob. So I'm very curious to see how he's gonna navigate through the wall of Utopian Ray. I really Ray. love the high recovery coming from Zamba that would effectively just prevent him from getting up there because he was just so high up um, or, or side beat at all. That's a really really great uh, option. It can be tough for Palu to to chase. This should be a kill. No, oh, okay, Ooh. great DI by Zamba right there. Ray not being able to get the follow-up, most likely because there wasn't a lot of room for him to build mm -hmm. up momentum. All right, Zamba opting to just... Zamba stays on top of the mix. He knows what to look out for. And suddenly, like, you know, he has all the stage control. Like, he's putting him in the corner, and just, like, the positioning just flips so, so quickly in this matchup. Um, wow, yeah, great that, Yeah, great down to, yeah. That down to, like... I like that Ray's not opting to go for these crazy gimps, rather yep. just sticking with what he knows. If he sees Zamba go into the ledge, he'll go for the... Okay, yeah. Ooh. All right. Ray just playing it, like, super well. Not overcommitting or doing anything really stupid. He's just waiting for Zamba to kind of blow it first. Up throw. I'm not going to take it just yet. It. Wow. One so more? Um, 152, one stale. I it's something like that. He's definitely looking for it. That's maybe the only thing he has that's not so hard of a commitment. Cause like what else does Rob have? He has like his throws, he has up smash, he has nail, right? Yeah, he's he really has to like I think the opponent against Rob especially, I think the opponent really has to not be patient to kind of blow a stock against Rob. That was so hilarious. He just down tilted him and then he just zooms towards. Wow, yeah, Rob that so that hitbox away. stays up for 18 frames. That was really good awareness by Ray to see the, to read the tech in place. Zamba's shaking his head, but my man is uh rolling a fair amount. He's rolling back, he's rolling forward, and it's putting him at disadvantage almost innately. I, I wonder if it's just a lack of confidence in his tools as Rob. Yeah. Trying to land with these neutral airs when he's just getting stuffed out by Ray at every single instance. That could have been a little something saucy. It was almost, almost there, but it was a really, really great uh, choice from Ray to uh, sort of buff out the MD as soon as he could. Um, and I think it's also really important to know just how slowly Zamba is taking this now. In the beginning, he started off a little bit yeah. aggressive, a little bit explosive. Oh. But now he's so, so patient. And he misses a two flame on a Palutena. Palutena. Um, oh, this is this might be the stock for Zamba, though, if he can't recover correctly. Okay, Optin to just go super high. He's probably going to land with an air. Yeah, oh. Te oh. textbook classic, yeah. <laughs> that you have to. It's just impossible to punish it's so It's, it's so, so good. It's such a good move. You have to catch it before it, it, he starts his uh, spin forward if you want to punish it, but like, it comes out dummy quick. And I think that was actually a really interesting option. Ooh, that's... Yes, Zamba getting a little mm -hmm. too greedy right there. That was a very linear, pro like my man booked it from mid stage all the way to the end there mm -hmm. and, and got killed for it. Like you see right here. Um, I don't know about the choice to throw him back onto stage when he could have thrown him off stage, maybe set up he a ledge trap He printed full stage and Ray was just able to pull yep. the... He's trying to do the Matador. He matador um, him, bro. He might get the character switch coming out from Zamba. He might stick to Rob. I'm really curious to see. Yeah, okay. Yep. I agree with this. Do I definitely agree with this. I think I think Zamba's Roy is probably the right character needs in this situation. Against, like, a, a player like Ray, I feel like I've read, Like, Ray knows how to deal with zoners pretty effectively. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Zamba's playstyle caters to uh, combating Ray's too often. I think he needs this. I think he needs a character he can rush down Ray yep. with, make him uncomfortable, make Ray start to panic and overcommit in situations. Because when Roy's coming at you, it's like a it's like a speeding train. Yep. You don't know what so he's going to pull out. Yeah. He throws out a jab and suddenly it's a 35 percent. And honestly, like, right up, right. Oh my god, is he going to up it? Huh. That's a punish. Yeah. Um, I feel right off like the start of this game, um, maybe just because the Utopian Ray didn't have a chance to adapt, but you just see uh, Zamba doing more of what he wants to do, and that just staying up in Palutena's face, making sure she can't sort of like bait out a bad option from you. Um, and it's definitely where Roy struggles the most. It's getting back to stage, goes for the recovery mix up, and then gets punished for it with a down smash. Um, you see Zamba shaking his head. Yeah, he Zamba definitely. I think I think it's because of his age. Because some kids can't keep like some kid. I think on on the two sides of the spectrum when it comes to younger players, there's 
kids who are just stone cold, no emotion. Yep. <laughs> they just do what they gotta do. Absolute do it. monsters. A and then you have players on more so Zombicide Spectrum where they are emotional. Ooh. They're very emotive when they play. Uh, Zama's still shaking his head. I think he he's not too happy with he, how he's playing right now. It's my guess. I feel like it, it's it's tough not to be hard on yourself. That's he saved his jump. That's I stock for sure. No, he didn't save his jump. Um, Zama visibly wincing. Yeah, it's just, it's tough, man. It, it, it's against a player like Ray and a character like Palu. Like if you're not if you on don't have point, the emotional advantage. If you're not like just emotionally present, like it's gonna be very very tough. You're gonna get tilted by a lot of things. You're gonna be like, oh, why that multi hit poke through my shield? And you're like, well, buddy, uh, I don't know. What's you got you got you gotta take it, man. You just gotta roll with it. And Ray is definitely a player who, at least like, I know emotionally like he doesn't crack Ooh, often. Such a great touch chase coming from Ray. But Ray, Ray is just stone cold. He does his job, and he'll he'll get angry or show emotion after the set. That's gonna yep. be the game for sure. No, Ooh, wait a minute. <gasps> What? Okay. He caught the roll. Zamba's like, all right. Yeah, that's it. And that's going to be the game. Very convincing 2-0 coming from Ray. If Zamba can really shake it off, I think he's due for a fantastic loser's gun. Zamba um, not happy with his play whatsoever. Yeah. I, I mean, you, you, you can't be thinking that. Like, you can get angry, but only until – you really have to wait until after the set yep. to start. Like, if you're getting in your feelings, like, mid-set, you're not going to – do too well. 